Hi, I'm Marwan from My Dubai, My City, and today I'm going to show you how to pick the correct off-road lights for a vehicle. As you all know, like summer season has started, anybody that loves to go off-road has to go at night, because that's why the weather is just cooler and just don't die in the sand. So, uh, if you drive at night, you want to make sure you can see in front of you, and that's why you have to pick good lights. Now, I'm going to start by showing you two beam patterns one that is flood and one that is spot. Because at the end of the day, these are the two choices that we have. Now, spot will give you very long distances, but won't spread, while the spread or the flood will just give you amazing coverage. If you're going for long distances with low terrain, with no mountains, you want to use spot. But if you're in a very close dune terrain, that's why you want to use flood and see what's just under you or next to you. If that's our light, everything that's hashed in blue is the area covered by the spotlight. As you can see, it doesn't flood, it doesn't spread, but reaches long distances. Now, everything that's in red corresponds to the floodlight. As you can see, it floods a lot, it spreads to the right, to the left, but doesn't cover a long range. So if you're a professional, you actually want to use a combination between flood and spot. I've drawn a beautiful sketch to show you where to place spotlights and where to place floodlights. Spotlights are usually installed on the top of the vehicle. That way you can make sure that lights are as high as possible and can give you the longest distance possible. You also have the choice to place lights by the windshield. That's where you also want to put spotlights because if you have floodlights over there, it's just going to reflect on the hood and it's going to bother you a lot. You'll you won't see anything. The bumper, that's the area where you want to put the floodlights. Because that's at the front of the vehicle, it's relatively low. Now we've got all the area around the car cleared by the floodlights and all the areas at long distances cleared by the spotlights. Finally, I'm going to show you what's the difference in looks between a floodlight and a spotlight. Let's start with the LED lights. In this case, that's a spot one and that's a flood one. The only difference between both comes from the reflector. Looking at this one, it's a clear reflector. That means light will just be focused on going straight. On the flood side, the reflector is crystallized, so it's used to spread the light and take it right, left and everywhere. So it will give you better coverage. Now, jumping to halogen, it's not in the reflector, it's on the lens. This is a spotlight and this is a flood light. The spot one has a clear lens, while the flood one has the crystallized shape. And this was gonna be used just to spread the light around. As a conclusion, always put the spotlights somewhere as high as possible where they can give you the best range and put the flood lights somewhere where it won't reflect and bother your driving. Anyway, that's how to choose the correct lights for off-roading. Thank you for watching us and we'll see you next week.